really good handicap. It's right up here close. And they got some shops here, it looks like. First time here. So let's see what this is about. You gotta pay to enter. Jeanette's here. Uh, here's the prices. Ooh, this is pretty. You got these little fishies here. My little memorial fishies in memory of different people. For your safety, no pets, bikes, farms, or skateboards. So. Oh, let's go check it out. This is right along the ocean. A little history of the place. And the More pricing about different things. Oh, look at the big old sea turtle. I think they call it that a porpoise. So we're going to pay to go to go. You can get some bait here, it looks like. So, let's go check it out. This is over in Nags, Nags, Nags Head, North Carolina. Whoa, babies. North Carolina Saltwater Fishing Tournament. Ooh, I am scared. I have an extreme fear of water. Let's see what this sign over here says. Dolphins? <sighs> it's busy, all kinds of people here fishing. Oh, yeah. Wow. There's a guy out there on his um kayak surfboard. surfboard, yeah, surfboard. That looks like a boat way out there. There's this boat out there. Yeah, I see that. Uh, well, it makes it so people with a disability can come up here and go fish, and you know, just come out here on the pier, sit on the bench. Cast your line in. So, even people with a disability can enjoy life. <sighs> There's some serious fishing people here. Yeah, we're here with the Howe family, our good friends in North Carolina. Let's see how many fish they caught. How many you catch? 
I got one. They got a bunch of bunch of little oh, chicken oh. bait. I was gonna say, did it? Was you able to keep them? Oh, we kept them for bait. Oh, I'm out to eat. Taylor caught two at one time. So, did you catch the big one? I caught the biggest one. You wouldn't lie, would you? No, I caught the biggest one. Now, there you go, Taylor. There's the big one. Oh, this is. I got one way bigger. She got a pretty decent. Well, oh, you're good. What a view up here. What a view. Look at all those houses along the beach there. Of the ocean. I feel truly blessed in life to be able to come and see places like this. Because I know there's people out there that don't get these opportunities something I don't share with everybody. You see that? That is due to an operation I had when I was little, about four and a half, because it, it was cricket, twisted around due to an incident and not took care of properly. And then after I was adopted, when I was about four and a half, my parents um, had it operated on. They had to do a total bone reconstruction to get rid of the bad bones that um, were, went bad because it wasn't took care of like it should have. And due to that, that arm is four and a half inches shorter. Normally, I will not wear a sleeveless uh, shirt because I don't want everybody seeing the scar. Due to uh, in high school being harassed and bullied, I guess you could say, for having that scar and the arm being different because kids just didn't understand that there's not everybody's different. That everybody's not perfect, no matter what. There's no such thing as a perfect person. If it was, if we was all perfect people and we did everything that other people wanted us to do or be a certain way, this would be the most boring this world to have there. And that's no fun. But it was hot today over here, and I kind of wanted to get a little sun. So I got brave today and put it on. Because people tell me those are battle scars, and you should triumph and be proud of those battle scars, because those battle scars made you a stronger person. Makes you a stronger person. And I agree. I really agree. I mean, I didn't like everybody having to see me wear braces or ride around in the scooter, but I overcame that fear real quick if I wanted to be able to get around. And so a scar on the arm is nothing compared to what some people have. But that's just the way I was, but now it's like a whole new thing here. I don't mind showing everybody. Is that, as my brother used to tell me in high school, if they don't like it, they don't have to like it. But that never made me feel better. But I'm gonna go and explore more of this Jeanette's Pier and have some fun in the sun, collecting seashells, and all kinds of things. So, stay with me. Stay tuned. I want to tell you, your next dream 
and your next adventure is just over the horizon as I'm discovering. And everything from this channel helps the disabled by donating to a local organization in the town that we're traveling in if they have somebody in need or a local animal shelter.